1-1-2-3-5-8-4-3-7-1-8-9-8-8-7-6-4-1-5-6-2-8-1-9. Welcome to a production of the Church of the Sacrament, a sacred life community. A biblical case for Silva Sophia. The idea here is that the sun, the moon, the planets, all of these are living beings. I hold that to be a truth. I've held that to be a truth for some time. My psychedelic journeying assisted with that understanding. And I've had many conversations with my Christian brother-in-law and father. And it kind of shocked me that they weren't open to the idea of these things, planets, stars, moons, as being living beings. So I created this partly for them and partly for others who are trying to bridge, quote unquote, spirituality and Christianity. The idea of the Bodhisattva is that no one goes over into full enlightenment until we all do, which means that the level of enlightenment will be as great as the least enlightened human being there is. So we must be able to speak our truths in such a way that we can speak to various audiences. I've always believed that if I could speak the truth in such a way that both Christians and atheists will have an emotional experience of understanding. So this is a letter to my Christians. Keep an eye out atheists, I'll be coming for you next. <clears throat> so 1 Corinthians 15, 38 through 41. But God giveth eat, <clears throat> let's try it again. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another fishes and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. Let's go through this a little slower. First Corinthians fifteen thirty eight. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. This verse details that a body is given to that which has not a body. And each gift is particular to the seed or the soul that will embody the body. First Corinthians fifteen thirty nine. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. This verse continues the idea of bodies using the term flesh, equating to the known living vessels of flesh and the spirit souls perceived as life and personality within that flesh. For instance, how many of you have pets? Do you have cats? Do you have dogs? Okay. Well, the idea is that the flesh that is given to the life that is within your cat or within your dog is unique to that cat and dog. And that when that cat Rep, runs around and expresses life. 
or that cat meows and expresses its unique personality. Those are expressions of the spirit and the soul that is enlivening the being. And according to the verse, this and the one before it, that flesh, that unique piece of flesh is given to that creature by God, by the Father. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. Having established that souls are gifted bodies for manifestation, these spirit souls that exist are their bodies designed for them so that they can embody and manifest within them. Having detailed that particular bodies are fashioned for particular spirit soul combinations to enliven, we now see that the idea of body is then expanded to include creatures that are beyond the general understanding. The comparison to terrestrial bodies were listed in the previous verse. Now the equating of bodies to a class of being beyond the general scope is alluded to in the claim of bodies celestial. 1 Corinthians 15, 41. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for one star differeth from another star in glory. Just as in the verse 39, the various bodies are listed as having unique spirits within them, so too are the celestial bodies listed as each having their own unique species, their own unique spirit soul within them. By the virtue of them being bodies, Bodies carry the enlivening factor. They carry within them the spirit soul. They carry within them the life and the personality of the being that lives within it. How amazing to begin to see the cosmos as peopled with sentient beings, each experiencing the aspect of reality that fits their interest. For each, the experience of life unique to its environment and its lifespan. On Earth, we have humans that live for 80 to 90 years. We have fruit flies that live for a factor of a matter of days. And then in the solar system, we have planets and we have stars that live on the scale of billions of years. Each of these bodies providing a perspective on reality that allows the awareness, the I-ness that is throughout all of creation to understand itself, to experience itself at various scales and through the various conditions that are expressed in reality. This is a letter to my Christians, to those that live according to this good book. Do you see how through a biblical reference, we can begin to see that the stars, the moon, the planets are living beings. This has been a broadcast of the Church of the Sacrament. I am your voice, <laughs> Shaman Ka. I close with the spiral mantra the prayer to the goddess Silva Sophia. 1123-5843-7189-8876-4156-2819. 1123-5843-7189-8876-4156-2819.